What we're going to be going over here is a triple integral or a triple integration of a rectangular solid here. And we're going to do it in terms of Cartesian coordinates. That is x, y, z coordinates. And we're going to be looking at a really a simple polygon here as a tetrahedron. And really it's a simple tetrahedron. Okay, so this is what we're looking at here. So we're going to have our z-axis here for a tetrahedron. And it's going to go from 0 to 1 unit here. And then along our x-axis, uh, uh, we're going to go here from 0 to 2 units. And then along our y-axis here, we're going from 0 to 3 units. And just remember, everything is 90 degrees here between all of our x, y, and z axes here. Okay, so what we have here is we have this equation here. Uh, the face here of this tetrahedron that's going up here from your x, y x uh, plane here up to your z plane. It has a solution here based on those th uh, four different points we have. This uh, uh, formula for that plane here is 3x minus 6 plus 2y plus 6z here equals 0 here. So that's what we're going to be dealing with here. So we're going to be dealing with looking at uh, slicing this we're going to be going up and down here with our slice here. I'm showing it here in this blue here, and it's going to be going along our z-axis. So the slice is going to be parallel to the x-y plane here. Okay, so we're going to really have two different faces we're going to be dealing with here. The x-z plane, and then going over here, same thing here. We're moving from up along the z-axis here, taking our slice, but we're going to also be dealing with the y-z plane here. Okay, and if we moved over here, just understand what we're talking about here when we're talking about these slices. Really, when we're doing a triple integration, we really have, in this case, x, y, z axis coordinates. We really have three different ways we can go. We can either slice along the x axis, shown here with this goldish slice here, or along the y axis, this bluish green slice, or going up and down here along our z axis, which I'm showing the blue here. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so let's go and let's look at these different options we have here. Okay, so we're going to be looking at, uh, let's, this is the way I have it laid out here. Now just remember our x and y and z axis, they're all at 90 degrees here. Look, showing a little, uh, uh, a little at an angle here, but just to understand this is the x one, the y one here. They're all at 90 degrees here, and z is at 90 degrees uh, to the x and y axis here. Okay, so our first case here would be, just understand what we're doing, we'll get into the calculations here, but we're going to look at, okay, this is our triple integrate, y, d, dy, dx, dz. This is the one we're going to be looking at here first. So we're going to have this, this is the way it goes here. So when the dz here is your outer uh, integral here, and that's really the direction of your slice that you're taking. The outer integral represents the direction of the slice, and slice is going up and down here on the z-axis, and it's parallel to the x-y plane here. And then this middle integral, just to understand what that is, you've got to integrate either from the inside out or the outside in. The middle integral represents the d or the x dz plane or the x z plane here. Okay, and then the y here, dy here is just going off in this direction, in the in the y-axis direction here. Just understand what's going on here. Okay, so then moving up here, you see what we're going here. Z is going up here, and we've got our little integral, or our slice going in our tetrahedron in this direction. Okay, so the second option we have here with this, well, again, with our slice going up and down here, this is the case here again. For our outer integral here, dz, that's showing here, it's going to actually be in units here from 0 to 1 here. Okay, so that's our outer integral again, but then we uh, we switched around here our inner, middle, and inner in integral here. So now we're looking at dx or dy here. Let's look at dy here. dy is and dz here is really represented by the yz plane here. dy is our middle integral. And then again, uh, the inner integral here is going to be dx, and dx just goes in this direction along the x-axis. But this is the way we have it broken down between those different planes and the directions we're going in our integral here, x, y, and z coordinates. Okay, so now we'll move on and look at our calculations. Now we'll set up our integral here. So we're going to be looking at really two different orders of integration here. So we're going to start with the first case here. We're going to have dy 
dx dz. So uh, dy here represents our inside integral here, dx represents the middle integral here, and dz here is our outside integral. So we're going to work from the inside to the outside here. Okay, so let's go down and let's look at it here. So the first calculation we have to make here is really looking at our going in our on our along our y-axis here for our integral. Now remember the slice we're taking here, looking at it here, is going up and down here on our z-axis and it would be parallel here to our x y-axis here. So what we're looking at, remember this slice here would be very large down here based on this blue outline here that represents really that plane that we're looking at, that plane that's moving from your xy axis up to your z axis here. And just remember everything here is at 90 degrees. Our z axis is 90 degrees to our x and y plane and the x and y axis are 90 degrees to each other here just so you understand what we're looking at here. Okay, so first off, let's look at it here. So what we'd have to do is we'd have this, we know the equation for that plane here. We know what the equation for the our plane is here. That's uh, 3x minus 6 plus 2y plus 6z equals 0. So we have to solve for our inside integral here going in the y direction here. All we have to do is solve for y in the, on that equation plane. So what we would do here, just solve for y. Uh, isolate y on one side here. So a y is going to be equal to 3 minus 3 halves x minus 3z. And remember, we're starting out at here, 0 for our initial y here, and then we're moving out here based on that formula we have here, based on uh, taking and solving our equation plane here for y. Okay, so let's go up and look at our integral. Okay, so we're going from 0 to what we calculated here for, uh, for our y along the hypotenuse of that really uh, right triangle and essentially that we're looking at here. Okay, so that takes care of our inside integral dy here. So now the next one would be dx here. That's our middle integral here. So let's go and let's look at that. So when you're talking about the middle integral, it's going to be on this plane here, the x, z plane. Just understand that. Remember we did the y one here? Now, z versus our third, our outside integral, but the middle one really ends up between our outside integral here and what we'd have on our middle integral. The, it lies here on our z, x plane. So this is what we're, we're looking at. It's varying here uh, along our plane here, defined by our z, x plane here. It's this value here. So what we have to do is we, we want to intersect this x, z. It intersects the x, z plane here. So when it does that here, our y value here, in this case, is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 here, so you let y equal 0 in our equation plane up here, and then you just solve for x. So we set y equal to 0 here, and there we, this is what our uh, uh, plane here, our, our s2, this s2 plane here, that is what it would be here when we just don't include x into the equation plane here. And then you just solve that for x, and just take that and solve it for x, you're going to get 2 minus 2z. So that's going to be our middle integral here. So let's go up and look at that. So again, x here is going from 0 to 2 minus 2z here. Remember that's varying here. It's moving here. That, that uh, line here, that integral line that we're looking at is sitting on that xz plane here. And that's moving here from where we begin with our, our in our largest x here to, uh, going up to where x would be 0 here, up to z here. Okay, so that's going to be what? Here's our dx, so we're going from 0 to minus 2z plus 2 here. Okay, so that takes care of our middle integral, so now we just have the outside one here. Well, that's simple. All we're going is from 0 to 1 here, z. So that's it right here. So what we've done here, just understand what we've done here. So in this case, we did the dy, dx, dz. Okay, so dz, that's the outside one here, and that's just looking at our value from 0 to 1 here. dx is the middle one. And when you're talking about the middle one, that's going to line up here with dx, dz, or the zx plane. That's going to be on the zx plane. That's going to be represented by that line here in the zx plane where z, uh, 
Uh, y is actually zero in this case here. Okay, so and then remember when we're talking about the dy here, that's not sitting on the plane. That's moving along this face. The face here, dy, is what we define here on our face here, that face of our tetrahedron here, the tapering, that tapered face that's moving up here. Okay, so that's how you, the middle one is going to be on this plane here between z and x here, and then uh, the inside one, y, just moves along the face here. In dz here, that's the outside one, that's just the value here from 0 to 1 in this case. Okay, so that takes care of our first order of integration here, looking at dy, dx, dz. Okay, so now let's look at the other case. This is the case here, we're going to switch uh, dy and dx around, so we're going to look at dx, dy, dz. So dx becomes our inside integral, and then dy is our middle one, and then of course is dz here is our outside one. Okay, so let's look at that, and we'll start with our inside here, dx. So let's go down and look at that. Okay, so the, what you're going to do here now, we're sitting on this line here. This is sitting on that yz plane. Now, what we have here moving in the x direction here along the x-axis, that becomes really the hypotenuse of that triangle that we're looking at here, moving up and down along our z-axis. So what you're going to do here is... Uh, for that plane equation that we have here, you just solve for x in your equation plane that we have here. So what we would do here, here's our equation plane here, 3x minus 6 minus 2y plus 2y plus 6 equals 0, just solve for x. There it is, 2 minus 2 thirds y minus 2z. Okay, so let's go and let's look at that up in our integral. And remember, x here is starts at 0 at this 0, 0 point here. Okay, so moving up here, looking at dx, our inside one here is 0 to what we calculated here just by uh, solving x here in our four equation plan here. Okay, so that's our takes care of our inside one. Now we have to deal with our middle one. That is dy here. Okay, so what you're going to do here, this is the case here where you're going in that when we're talking about dy. Again, this becomes this plane between y and z. z is our outside integral here y is our y-axis here is our middle one. So we're dealing with this d y z plane here. So in this case you want to intersect the y, it intersects the y z plane and it's this line here that's moving up and down here on that y z plane. This one red one here moving up, it's large here, moves up to nothing here. So what you're going to do here, you just let x equal to zero. Well x has to be zero. Just like y was zero in the other one, x is in this plane here, you just say x is equal to 0 here on this plane. If I didn't make that clear in the first case here where y was equal to 0, now I want to make that clear here. So x is equal to 0 on the plane, and you just solve for y. So you put you just put x equal to 0 here in your equation plane here. There it is. So now you get your s1 or your plane here, that uh, yz plane here then in minus 6 plus 2y plus 6 equals 0, and then just solve for y in that. And you're going to get 3 minus 3z here. Okay, so let's go and let's look at that. That was our middle integral here, dy here. And again, remember y here was moving from 0 out to what we solved it here. And it's this, represented by this line here. Okay, so there it is. So we go up here, middle integral here, dy, 0 to what we solve it for. And of course, the outside integral here is just moving here in that 0 to 1 here. No calculations, just, just going up in that scalar amount from its 0 point here up to 1 D, or for the z here. Okay, so let's look at what we've done here. So let's, again, to understand, this is the way we went. Uh, dx, dy, dz. dz was our outside one. And in this case, our middle one was dy. So that ends up on this plane here, this dy dz. So that's why we have to deal with this one here. And it's really that line that moves. It's, it's this line here where uh, x is equal to 0 at that point, and we're just dealing with the y z values here. Okay, so that's it. And then that was for the middle one. And then the outside one here was just dz move, moving up and down. But just to understand it going through this, when you're talking about dx, dy, and dz in this case here, in that order of integration, remember the dz here 
That's the order that you're taking your slice in here. No matter what planes you're looking at, you're moving that slice up and down here. And just remember, then this integral or this value here that's moving with along that slice here, along that face here, that becomes your really your in, inside integral, it, it, either dy or dx or dy here, that becomes the inside one here. And then the middle one is really what you're dealing with with the z, in this case the d, z and the y axis here. If you get this case dy dz. If with dx dz here we were dealing with the along the plane here was the x in the z plane here. Okay so that's pretty much what you would do here to make your calculations just looking at a basic tetrahedron here where we had 90 degrees between all our x y and z axis here and we we were just integrating here a, a simple face here and along our three axes here. Okay, so that'll end our discussion.